Let's have a word of prayer, then we're going to look at the Bible. Father, thank you again for the day. And Lord, we want to pray this, this afternoon for our uh, folks with physical needs, Lord. We live in, in bodies that are finite and, Lord, are deteriorating. And, Lord, we have, Lord, problems. Lord, I think of Brother Dave Bauer. He fell this morning uh, getting into his car at uh, home. Uh, just could not stay. The pain was such, Lord, they, they left after church. And Lord, I pray for Brother Dave. Lord, he's having a lot of problems, Lord, and I pray that you'll help him. And Lord, our folks with back problems, um, Lord, just everybody, Lord, uh, Ms. Thompson with uh, some dental problems, some sinus problems, and Jody with her hip, Lord, we, we lift these up to you. Lord, we present them to the throne of grace today. And Lord, pray that you would, Lord, meet the need. I know that you use doctors. Lord, I know that you do. I thank you for the doctors in my life that have helped me. Lord, with all the problems that I've had, Lord, over the years. Lord, Lord, how they, I pray for our church, Lord, that you'll give doctors some wisdom. Lord, with our folks and people that we know. Lord, that are having some medical issues, Lord, that are going to require surgery. So, Lord, we pray for these. Lord, I pray for each one of us, Lord, here today. I know that not everybody's married, but, Lord, for those of us who are married, Lord, that it's, it's difficult. And, Lord, at times, and I know the adversary, our, the devil, would, Lord, do all, all that he can to break us up, and, Lord, to divide our homes. And, Lord, to have, cause us to have problems. And, and so, Father, I pray, Lord, for each one of us today. Again, Lord, we're so thankful for heaven. Lord, I am thankful for heaven today. And, Lord, for forgiveness of sins. Thankful, Lord, that we're, Lord, on our way. Maybe today. Maybe today the war will be over. Lord, maybe today. Lord, maybe today that we will go up and the battle will be done. We pray, even so come, Lord Jesus. Lord, then these old bodies are going to put on incorruption, and this mortal will put on immortality. Lord, what a day that will be. Father, bless in the few minutes that we have, and Lord, we'll thank and praise you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Over in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, one more time. One thing that you do need to pray about, and I know that you do, I know that people tell me they pray for me every day, and I know that they do, is that... Uh, I, I would ask you to really pray for my voice as, you know, the throat guy says there's nothing wrong with my voice that he can see, but it is, uh, it is uh, getting worse. And, you know, so I, I'll get you to pray about that if you would. Verse 23 of chapter 11, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he brake it, and said, Take eat, this is my body which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood, as oft, this do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often, as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Father, we thank you again, uh, Lord, now for these few minutes that we have left. Lord, help us to examine our hearts. Lord, truth is, none of us are worthy. There ain't anybody in this room worthy. I'm not. Nobody is. Apart from Christ. And we thank you for him today. And Lord, we pray that you would, Lord, help us to examine our hearts now. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. You know, the idea is that, again, there isn't anybody in here that, as Jesus said to the woman, 
And those men, in John chapter 8, let him that is without sin cast the first stone. And the Bible says they all walked away because they're from the oldest to the youngest. There isn't anybody in here that can cast a stone. There is nobody in this room today. Say, well, I am worthy because of who I am. The truth is that none of us are. Except, except for the Lord, blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, which cleanses us. But Paul says here to us that we need to examine ourselves before we come to the table to see it's not so much of sin because that is a given in anybody in anybody's life people say what happens if so and so if a person dies and they have a sin in their life well the truth of the matter is that probably all of us are going to die like that uh, it, it's not so much questioning whether or not we sin but whether or not we tolerate we are tolerating that which we know to be wrong. Do we tolerate it? For example, anger. Do we tolerate it? And I know people say, well, I can't help myself. That's just the way I am. Well, that's probably true. That is the way you are, but you can't help yourself. But I, can't, but I just can't get... No. The truth is, in my opinion, you don't want to get over it. It's not that you can't. It's not that you can't. And I realize that there are some sins that are probably more difficult than others uh, that we have a problem with. It's not that you can't. Jesus said it, that, Jesus said it like this. It's not that you won't come. He said, that, he said that you will not come. He didn't say that you can't. He said that you won't. It's not that we can't. And so the Bible speaks to us, Paul speaks to us here about this particular matter, that we should examine our hearts as believers, to see whether there's anything that we are tolerating. It's not, well, preacher, I've got the same problem. Well, most of us have a problem with something. You say, preacher, do you have a problem? Well, sure, everybody's got problems in their life. But I honestly, I told the Lord this morning. I told him, I said, Lord, I hate that. I hate that. And, and yet, as Paul said, I still find myself doing the very thing that I hate. It's not so much a question of sin, but is, are we tolerating that which we know to be wrong? It really comes down to this. It's our attitude to that which we know. Can't help myself. Can't help it if I get mad. Can't help it. Can't help it. Can't help it. Well, you ever pray about it? Well, no, I don't ever pray about it because I just can't help it. Tolerating that which we know. Before we come to the Lord's table, the Bible says we ought to examine ourselves to see if there is anything there that we know. Well, I know it's wrong and God spoke to me about it, but I'm not going to do anything about it. God has spoken to me. I'm not going to do anything about it. I'm not going to do anything about it. Christians today say this. I will not be told by anybody that what I am doing is wrong. You are not going to tell me. God is not going to tell me. Nobody is going to tell me that what I'm doing is wrong. That is what Paul says. When you come to the Lord's table, brother, you better examine your heart to see if you've got that attitude in there. Father, we thank you again. Now, Lord, for this opportunity... Lord, to examine our hearts. Lord, bitterness, boy, Lord, that's a big one. And Lord, I, I know that sometimes we get bitter about things. Lord, help us, I pray. Sometimes anger. Lord, sometimes we get angry about things. Uh, Lord, jealousy, envy, <laughs> unkind. Lord, sometimes we're just unkind. When you've commanded us to be kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, an unforgiving spirit. We know it's there, but we're not going to do anything about it. And we'll not be told that it's wrong. Holy Spirit, I pray that you'll soften our hearts, look at our hearts, check our hearts, we pray. If there is something there that we are tolerating, we excuse it. We let it slide. We're not willing to confess it. 
but we, like the pig, wallow in the mire of it. Lord, I pray that we will confess that today. It's not that do we slip. Sure we do. It's not do we fall. Sure we do. But are there are things that we are tolerating in our life. May we confess it. Lord, may we have that thing right with thee, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen.